Hello and welcome to Computer Active Hints and Tips. My name is Tim Smith and today we're going to start a series on Mozilla Thunderbird. Now Thunderbird is an email program that's available for Windows as well as Mac and Linux and it's got several features in it that you may find useful on Windows that have been missing in Outlook Express and the new Windows Mail. Now the most important of these is a spam filter. Spam's a real problem now on the internet. At best it's a bit of a nuisance filling your inbox up and at worst it can actually be quite dangerous with phishing attacks. In this first part we'll take a look at downloading and then installing Thunderbird as well as setting up a first email account. So let's get started right away now. So the first step is to download the Thunderbird software onto your computer and you can do this from our website. Simply click in the address bar of your browser and type www.computeractive.co.uk slash 2170797 and press enter. Click on the free download link about halfway down the page. Click on save. And then we'll save this file to our desktop. So click on the desktop icon and then on save. Once it's been downloaded, click on the close button and then also close down Internet Explorer. Now we can see the Thunderbird setup program here on our desktop, so double click on it to start the wizard. Now Windows will warn you that this application hasn't been signed, so it can't be sure that it's safe to run, but we know that it is, so click on run. Once the files for the installation have been extracted, the wizard will start properly. So click on next and then if you want to read the agreement document here and click on I accept the terms in the license agreement and click on next again. We'll stick with the standard installation so just leave this top option here selected and click on next again. Now all the files that Thunderbird will need will be installed onto the computer. You can see the update bar moving here. When it is finished Leave the option Launch Mozilla Thunderbird Now selected and click on Finish. Now you might get a warning like this one from your firewall telling you that a new program is trying to access the internet. We're quite happy for Thunderbird 2 and in fact it won't download any emails without it. So click on Remember This Setting, the Zone Alarm and then Allow. Now Thunderbird can actually import uh, all your email and settings from Outlook Express if you've been using this client previously. We, we haven't been using this so we don't click on don't import anything and then on next. Because there are no email accounts set up in Thunderbird it will ask us to set up a new account. So we're going to set up an email account. Now you might notice later on we're actually using a Google Mail or Gmail account but to show how the wizard works for an ordinary email account we're going to stick with this. So select the top option and then click on next. Type your name as you want it to appear at the top of your emails and then type your email address in the box below. When you put your address in, click on next. Now you'll either be using a POP or an IMAP server, the difference isn't really that important. Most email accounts with uh, internet service providers will be a POP server so type the name which will normally be pop dot the name of your ISP at the end and also the outgoing server this is normally the same or with SMTP at the beginning when those are both set up click on next the incoming username is the name that you use to log in now this may just be your name here or it may also include the rest of the email address and the same applies for the outgoing address as well. When they're both OK, click on Next. You can give the account a separate name if that's going to help you. So the email address is a bit messy so we don't just put Google Mail account here. When you're happy with that, click on Next. Thunderbird will show you a quick summary of all the different settings for your email and also have the option to download messages now. When you're happy with all of these, click on finish. 
and you may get another warning from your firewall to say that Thunderbird is trying to access the internet. So there we are, our email account all set up and ready to go. If you need it, you can find the full text of this workshop using the address printed below. Hopefully this has whetted your appetite for Mozilla Thunderbird and given you a small hint of what a good email client it is. Later on we'll be looking at how to set up that spam filter we mentioned earlier, as well as other useful tricks like setting it up to read RSS news feeds. This has been Computer Active Hints and Tips.